Good afternoon, I'm Graham Whitehead for Robins TV. Momentum is the name of the game today for Car Shorten Athletic as they look to build on Monday night's win over Averley and climb out of the bottom half of the league. On paper at least, today's opponents, Corinthian Casuals, are the ideal team to face to do that. Casuals are currently rooted at the bottom of the league, having not won since the opening day and parted ways with manager Tony Reid during the week. But the recent form book between the sides is with the visitors. Last season they won both league encounters by a score of 2-1 and also knocked the Robins out of the Surrey Senior Cup. So the Robins will be taking nothing for granted this afternoon. Before kick-off, let's check the teams. For Carshorton, there's one change from the team that beat Averley on Monday night. Coming in is number 10, Tommy Bradford. In goal, Danny Bracken. It's a big and maybe a strange day for him for because he faces the side for the first time that he played nearly over 500 games for in 12 seasons. Going on to the Corinthian Casuals team, there are five changes from the team that lost to Margate in midweek. Coming in for them in goal, Eddie Allen. Number two, Zach Chislett. Number six, Luke Stokoe. Number seven, Misha Jamali. And number 11, Troy Chiabi. So it's going to be Corinthian Casuals going to get the game underway. Bit of a blustery day here at Colston Avenue. Colston, Colston Avenue, it's uh, Casuals are in their change white strip. Obviously not in their famous uh, pink and chocolate colours today and we're underway here. Cook and Lee both loitering at the far post. Cook coming out to receive it. And Akin Wandy turns, takes the shot. Adil Arkun comes off him and into the hands of Eddie Allen. Ek Petita getting on the end of the clearance. And playing in Crossley Lima. Able to keep it, in, keep it in and pull one back. Brad Williams gets onto it on the edge of the box. Quickly shut down. Finding Smith-Joseph. Gets one into the box and then Ekpetita on the end of it but can't keep it down. Best chance so far. Good ball in from Aaron Smith-Joseph. And Carl Shorten putting themselves under a bit of pressure there. Bracken's clearance up in the air. Smith-Joseph turns away though from Dessa. Finds Bradford. And Smith-Joseph make a good run to get onto the return ball. Putting it in here for Akinwandi. Can't turn it in. Another great ball from Aaron Smith-Joseph. Akinwandi must have been a toenail, I should think, away from turning that one in. But it stays nil-nil. Down the line for Ekpetita. Trying to work room again for a cross. Two players in front of him and... Ball breaks back to him into Akinwandi. No room to turn. Williams gets it into the box. Cook! But he heads it over. Nice build up that time from Carshaw. Nolly Cook in the box for the corner had stayed up but couldn't keep the header down. In here to Akinwandi inside the box. Looking for support. He's got Smith Joseph coming out here and Hamblin making his way forward. Chance to get a cross in. Comes in low. Williams. It came off a casuals player. It's out for a corner. Had a lock and under pressure from Mackin Wandy. He gets there before Allen. Can he get a shot off? Had a lock and. And it's going to be a, it is a penalty. Wasn't sure if it was inside or outside. Was Akim Adelakun the last defender? Could this be a sending off as well for Corinthian casuals? Just waiting to see what card the referee is going to pull out of his pocket here. It's just a yellow. I think casuals would argue that uh, I think it was Ricardo Thompson may just have been between Akinwandi and the goal. But uh, anyway, it's going to be a car shortened penalty, which Tom Beer is standing over here.
Just trying to get the ball to stand still in the breeze. So Tom Beer against Eddie Allen in goal here for Corinthian Casuals. Beer sends Allen the wrong way and Car Shorten lead 1-0. Tom Beer with his fourth goal of the season. Smith Joe's a little ball into Akin Wandy who went down, but nothing given. Bradford. Very tight in there. Williams trying to play in Ekpetita, but just beyond him and Allen able to gather. Edwards now looking again for Chiabis. Moved over to that right hand side. Started the game in the centre of the park. Ball coming in. And it's Checklit with the header. I thought the net was about to bulge, but he's put it just wide. Akin Wandy putting Adelarkin under pressure, still going. Trying to make space for the shot, gets a shot off, but couldn't pull it back on target. Forced wide by Adelarkin. And uh, the rain has started to fall here now at Colston Avenue. Been threatening for a while, but uh, it has arrived now. Masakini giving it away there to Smith Joseph. Bradford now in midfield. Little switch of passes there with Williams, but then the ball is too short for uh, Lima. A chance here for Tucker's charging forward from left back. Back here for Jamali. In towards Chiabi. But uh, Hamblin doing the covering, but concedes a corner. I am reliably informed, although I can't see much of it, that there is a fairly epic rainbow over on the far side of the pitch now. So uh, maybe there's a job in the uh, Met Office for me yet. <laughs> Meanwhile, returning to the action on the field, it's a free kick for Kai Shorten. Walter Figuera getting a push in the back. I think the Kai Shorten fans would... Really appreciate a second here, just to put the uh, the jitters to bed. Beer turns away from Stoko, and he's been joined by Lima, making a run into the box, puts one in, but uh, a bit behind Figuera. Ball from Caton, but it's cut out by Lima. Masakini now finding Stoko. Caton. Chiabi able to turn and now cut inside. Put one into the box towards Masakini, but went for the header on goal instead of squaring it, which might have been the better option. Taken short. But now Allen aims one forward towards Chiabi. Hamblin's there. And Figuera finding Brad Williams. Looking to switch the play to Ekpetita, but too short for him. Gus So in there winning it. Brad Williams. Ekpetita. Little ball through from Beer and... Akin Wandy with a chance to put the game to bed, but save from Allen. Hamblin, but blocked, and now a chance for Casuals to go the other way. Charby playing it forward. 
Arthur Lee with an important interception. But his clearance only finds Jamali. Nice little turn, but then he finds Lima. Final throw of the dice maybe here for casuals. And uh, Chiabi wins a free kick. Figuera holding and a chance here for casuals to throw their big men forward. Free kick in a dangerous position. Jamali then going to be over it with his left foot. Carl Shorten with some defending to do. Jamali swung into the box and Lee lets it go and it's out for a goal kick. And that is the final action. Carl Shorten have hung on in the end. It's a 1-0 win. They're second in a row here at Colston Avenue. Tom Beer penalty in the first half gives Carl Shorten their second win in a row and should push them up the table a bit more this afternoon ahead of their next uh, league fixture which will be away at today's league leaders Bishop Stortford next Saturday and before that on Monday night they have a Surrey Senior Cup tie here against Collierswood United 7.30 kick off Hope to see as many of you here as can make it. But this afternoon, as I said, it's finished. Carl Shorten Athletic 1, Corinthian Casuals nil.